I'm Christina Rivera for Red Carpet Report, and we're at the Paley Center in Beverly Hills with the cast of WKRP in Cincinnati, celebrating the 35th anniversary of the show. Thank you. How excited are you to be here tonight? I'm absolutely thrilled. I mean, uh, I've been... Uh, I've been on the dustbin of history now for a number of years and to be called out from my little house in Charlottesville, Virginia and wind up in a celebrity line being interviewed by you, I, I like it. <laughs> it's good. Did you ever think 35 years ago when you created the show that you'd be standing here right now and everyone would be so excited? I did. I mean, we always hoped we could do something that would have legs that would be remembered, that people would say, and by God, they do. I run into people all the time who say, hey, wow, yeah, I love that show. And they can even quote lines uh, from mine. You uh, probably have no idea what this show's about because you're very young. And I've been lucky enough to watch a rerun. Uh, I, well, I hope it hadn't been the ones that were all caught up to get around the music issues. Oh. How, what what kind of music issues have you well, encountered? I use real music. In mm -hmm. fact, I didn't want. I wouldn't do the show if we were going to do what's called sound alikes. Mm -hmm. uh, that would have never worked. And so I use real music, and we were able to afford the licensing for a needle down. They would maybe go ten seconds. Then years passed, and the music people, uh, the licensing kept getting higher and higher and higher until. 20th century, who has owned uh, the thing in the past, just said, out of hell with it. We're not paying that kind of money. So they tried to take the show and cut cut it up so this music wouldn't be in it. And it was just a disaster. And uh, radio people who loved the show were furious. And, and jocks, morning jocks all over the country the day the DVD came out were yelling, don't buy it, which did not help sales. I would think. <laughs> um, what have you seen any trends um, back then that you are seeing right now on TV? How many? What? Are there any trends? Things that you? Uh, oh yeah. I mean, uh, for for instance, I'm a uh, what do you call it? A binge watcher. Mm -hmm. Of. That is so. Well, I got my daughters finally said, "Hey, Dad, uh, we're gonna just uh, start hitting you with sticks if you don't start watching Breaking Bad." Oh. And I said, I watched the History Channel and sports. They said, okay, okay, we'll start hitting you. I, I got into Breaking Bad, and I became an absolute junkie, I think. I saw four years and three days. Right now, I'd be happy to field any questions you might have about the Game of Thrones. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I often get a, a similar... Uh, conversation because I don't watch Breaking Bad right here. That's really good, too. You have to. Yeah. You, and you call yourself a, a up-to-date red carpet type of person, yeah. and you don't want to hold them. I am so not up-to-date at all. Well, I tell you what, what it does, though, is it allows the writers to have this long arch. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you know, in comedy, we couldn't even call back something that somebody said five minutes ago. Right. Because the idea, some I always thought was wrong, that people are trying to get dinner together so they can't follow a complicated, uh, 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 any kind of complicated script points. Uh, these new shows are, uh, well, I, I, I think TV is doing better than the movies. I, 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 if I was a young writer coming up today, I would rather... I uh, set up my tent and TV. Uh, well, it was a pleasure meeting you. It was such a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment on what you think you'll be doing in 35 years.